Namashivai students. Today we will discuss in our psychology class. The first topic is analysis of data. We have learnt earlier about analysis of data where we talked about two methodological approaches, quantitative and qualitative method. Now what is this quantitative method? The responses given by the participants in case of psychological test, questionnaire, structured interviews, etc., which contain a series of close-ended questions, are being calculated and arrives at an aggregate score, which tells about the participant's level on that particular attribute. That means. The psychological attributes are being converted into numbers through the use of certain statistical method like mean, median and mode and methods of variability like standard deviation, range and so on. Now we will talk about qualitative method. This method involves interpretive study of a problem or issue in which the researcher is the key to the whole process of research. They yield data that are in the form of words, pictures. While conducting qualitative study, the subjectivity plays a key role as it makes interpretation and reflection possible. Instead of emphasis on why quotient, it gives more emphasis on what happens, when happens, and how happens. Qualitative data come in various forms and from diverse sources like case study, interview, discourse analysis, ethnography, and so on. So we have understood that both quantitative and qualitative methods are not contradictory to each other, rather they are complementary to each other, which we use to find the results of our psychological inquiry. Now students, we will move to our next topic, limitations of psychological inquiry. Now, in our previous videos when we discussed about different psychological inquiry we discussed about the advantages and limitations of those methods now today we will discuss some problems of psychological measurement which are general in nature first one is lack of true zero point in physical science we all know that we start our measurement assuming zero as the starting point. But though psychology is a science, still there is no true zero point in psychology. For example, when psychologists try to assess the intelligence level of an individual, cannot start from the base point zero as everyone in this world has some degree of intelligence. Thus, the psychologist decide any point of intelligence of an individual as zero and move further. So, the measurements are not absolute, rather they are relative in nature. Now, we will talk about the next point, relative nature of psychological tools. The tools that are used for psychological testing like questionnaire, interview cannot be applied universally because they are being made for a particular context depending on the surrounding environment of the particular individual or individuals. For example, a test which has been prepared for the individuals of urban areas cannot be applicable to the people of rural areas as both 
the situations and surrounding environment are totally different. Now we will talk about the last limitation that is the subjective interpretation of qualitative data. The qualitative data which cannot be categorized in scores or ranks which we have learned in our previous topic are mainly subjective in nature as it depends on the interpretation made by the researcher and the subject on which the research work are being applied. Moreover, if the researchers are more in number mainly in case of field study where they have to collect data from different people on any one research work has different views about the data at the end of the period. Thus, sometimes the qualitative data vary from person to person. Now, students, you will go through these two topics that is analysis of data and limitations of psychological inquiry from the book and write the notes what is quantitative method and what is qualitative method that I have discussed right now with you. You can take the help of your textbook also. In the next class, we will discuss about the ethical issues of psychology. That means when a psychologist starts its research work, some ethical principles she, he or she has to maintain to deal with the particular individual or the subject of the research work. We will learn about them in our next class. Till then, go through the topic Namah Shivaya.